Um, in a few minutes, we're going to vote on the nomination of Mr. Kyle Duncan for a position on the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. Mr. Duncan was nominated by President Trump. He's been vetted, examined, if you will, extensively by the White House. He has been vetted, examined, if you will, extensively by the Department of Justice. He has been vetted by the FBI. He's been vetted by the American Bar Association. And he has been vetted by the Senate's Judiciary Committee. And all of those entities have found that he is qualified, indeed more than qualified, to sit on the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. If you look at his resume, and his experience, Mr. President, you'll understand uh, why. Mr. Duncan clerked for the Honorable John Dewey on the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. Federal clerkships, as you know, Mr. President, are highly coveted, um, but judges generally pick the top students and the top members of their class. Mr. Duncan was picked. He has an LLM from the Columbia University School of Law, one of the finest law schools in the world. Mr. Duncan is an honors graduate of LSU Law School and an honors graduate with a BA degree from, uh, from Louisiana State University as well. He's argued over 30 cases in federal and state appellate courts. Some lawyers never argue a single one. He's briefed prepared and argued some 30 cases. Um, he served uh, in the Office of Attorney General of the state of Louisiana as appellate chief. He's represented my state in many high-profile cases, and he also has experience as an assistant solicitor general in the Attorney General's office in Texas. Uh, those who know Kyle and those who have... Uh, participated in the vetting process, know that he is articulate. He's a careful thinker. He has a deep understanding of the importance of separation of powers. And for that reason, he's been supported by a bipartisan group of, of, of both uh, current and former lawyers. I do not recognize, Mr. President, the uh, Kyle Duncan being described by some of my colleagues. And, and uh, I say this with, with all due respect, I think some of my colleagues in criticizing Mr. Duncan are confusing the role of the lawyer and the client. Um, I used to practice law, Mr. President. Uh, when a client came to me and said, uh, Kennedy, I need you to represent me. I did litigation in this particular lawsuit. Uh, if his position was lawful, I would say, okay, tell me what your problem is and, and what your arguments are, and I will look at it from my standpoint and maybe supply some, different, some additional arguments under the law. But when my client described to me his problem and uh, uh, his analysis of it, I can't remember a single time when I said, oh, geez, I don't agree with you. I don't like your politics. Um, I, I just don't agree with your position. I could have. But that's not my role as a lawyer. My role as a lawyer, so long as what my client is proposing is legal, my lawyer's entitled to legal representation. And my, my, my role is not to substitute my judgment for his. Now, I've, I've listened to my colleagues' criticism of Mr. Duncan. They don't know what his beliefs are, with all due respect. They say, well, in this case, he said that. And in this case, he said that. In this case over here, he said that. Like they, were his, like, like they were his point of view. They're his client's point of view. Mr. Duncan has developed an expertise in constitutional law problems, and they ask him to litigate it. They ask him to espouse their point of view. Not Mr. Duncan's point of view, the client's point of view. And it's just not fair, Mr. President, it seems to me, to, uh, to, to criticize a lawyer for doing what he is bound 
by our code of ethics and indeed the law to do. Uh, if, if I didn't think Kyle Duncan wouldn't call the balls and the strikes based on the rule of law that we cherish in America, I wouldn't be standing here today. But he will. And I would uh, respectfully suggest all my colleagues to put aside the politics, put aside whether they like President Trump or not, and uh, look at this man uh, for himself. And what they'll see is a very qualified, very successful lawyer who, uh, who worships the rule of law and will apply the law as this Congress and the United States Supreme Court has dictated.